had a successful uh, main engine cutoff, a successful yeah. stage separation, and then a this successful garbage. second engine start. Uh, it was a little cloudy for the Falcon 9 coming off the pads. We didn't get a great view of it, but it looks like we have a fantastic view of yeah. the second stage engine nozzle and the surface of the Earth right now. Yeah, so you guys probably saw it as we did. I don't know about you, but I got chills seeing the, the booster fall away. Got chills watching a movie. That's all you get chills from. Away, uh, from... <laughs> from the engine and yeah <laughs> she knows it's all this is all garbage they all know and here's your re backstreet boy reject to get back to landing zone one there's the boost back burn which successfully completed then there's the re-entry burn which is to slow us down as we go back through the atmosphere and then there's the ever exciting landing burn as we approach landing zone one yeah here. right now i'm gonna i'm gonna fast forward here get to this one point where i saw something that's completely ridiculous. Like everything else was SpaceX. And again, it's about the details that the 99% don't look at. That's why, again, they're easily to see. Take a look at this clown here. Try to pass off like he's getting some type of communication through an earpiece. The problem is he has no earpiece. Take a look. Uh, the Dragon doesn't just go straight to the International Space Station. It actually slowly approaches uh, over a series of Watch this. So we won't actually be getting there today, but once Dragon separates from the International Space Station, it will be slowly uh, executing a series of uh, burn maneuvers, getting uh, getting it closer and closer. And we actually just got confirmation that we have a good orbit for the uh, second stage. Just got confirmation. Okay, let's take a closer look here at the confirmation through his earpiece. Again, the details. Take a look. We actually just got confirmation that we have a good orbit for the uh, second stage. Uh, and that's wonderful. I'll take a look. Where's the earpiece? He just got confirmation. He's just reading off a freaking script. This is what a complete insult. If you have a brain in your head, you don't have to believe me, but just start questioning things. You know, take a take a look from a, a neutral perspective. You just take a look at where is the earpiece? Where does confirmation come from? Okay, take a look once again. Where he holds his ear. There's nothing there. We actually just got confirmation that we have a good yeah, orbit for right. the second stage. Right, that... More like just confirmation that you're a fraud and a liar. Complete insult. I mean, it's so easy to fool people. Millions upon millions of zombies. You know, specifically, SpaceX fanboys fall for this. And of course, who heads up this deception? It's Elon Musk, this Mason, as I pointed out many times, nothing more than a deceiver, just like everybody else that makes him top of this world stage, deceiving the public. Try to help out and explain to these knuckleheads that do not understand they're being deceived. They just want to worship these frauds and liars. It's all about Mason, like I showed before real quick, with Falcon 9. Again, all about the 33 when it comes to Freemasonry. Of course, the, the knucklehead fanboys of SpaceX, they know nothing about masonry. It's all about deception. I okay, point out with the 33. The press conference was originally scheduled to introduce our 10 Mars mission finalists. However, our rivals at Space Colony 1, a division of Pepperidge Farms, just announced that their Mars rocket is nearing completion. We made a solemn promise to Fig Glutens that they would be the first cookie on Mars. Therefore, we have moved up our launch date from 2026 to Thursday. Thursday? This Thursday? Are you all ready to be a part of history? I wanted to be someone who's bravely going to Mars eventually. I haven't used my open table dining I'm points. I'm still very much an alcoholic. I guess we should leave too. I knew it. What? This has all been an elaborate charade. You never had the guts to go to Mars. Oh, I have the guts. I once went to a rock concert by myself in the rain. It was lover boy. Then let's go to Mars. Yeah, let's go to Mars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mankind's first residence of Mars, powered by simmer time dinner sauces. Dinner time is simmer time for sauce. <laughs> They're leaving in a week? Mom's my only good parent. 
And Lisa's my only good kid. Why won't they admit that neither of them actually wants to go to Mars? I'm not giving up yet. There's got to be a limit to their stubbornness, right? T-minus one minute to launch. Here we go, I guess. Yep, we're doing this, apparently. I'm sorry I doubted you, Mom. There's no one I would rather go to Mars with. I love you, sweetie. I don't want to go! This is the stupidest idea we ever had! Abort launch! That's a negative. I think you're forgetting the motto of Blue Bronco. Let's do this thing! Twelve. Eleven. This is not happening. Do you know how to run the dishwasher? Of course not! Maybe we can use paper plates! Where the hell did we get those? Mars, no! Three, two, one, ignition. It's not a real rocket. It's the outside of a real rocket. We did plan to build a real rocket. And that's one thing they can never take away from us. That plan is our legacy. Then why did you move up the launch if you knew it was fake? to inspire the next generation. And to provide a distraction while we drove away. And why are you still here? Our car wouldn't start. Mom, doesn't it frighten you that we almost went to Mars out of sheer stubbornness? That's what a mother-daughter relationship is, sweetie. A series of near-fatal emotional standoffs. Okay, but it doesn't have to be that way. Surely we can learn from this. One day we'll figure it out. On this planet or another. Well, that's one for the win column. I can't wait to find out what we're going to do next. We should fix racism. Racism is bad for business. And that is racism's fatal flaw. I'm thinking of an app that would use the best algorithms in the world. Algorithms like that would be great for this idea I've been backburnering. It's an ad-supported restaurant. You get free food, but you have to watch ads. If you want a hamburger, you watch five ads. Table this is the favorite thing they love to do. They love to mock. First thing people need to understand is Freemasonry and the Illuminati are one of the same. But what if you do their research, find that out.